Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. This is GMTV. You are welcome to GMTV today. Being on the 31st of December 2023, the very, very last day of 2023, and also it's Sunday as well. Um, today is um, um, another day of uh, history being in making, and also the achievement of Biafra Prime Minister Mazi Saman Ekpa throughout the whole year of 2023 and a very 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 big achievement to every Biafrans as well that have been supporting on this very very cause of freedom this is gmtv it is your first time of coming across our channel please do us a favor like share so comment let other people know about gmtv and also he said the recap achievement of the biafra in 2023 pm minister also um with all the collective effort with the with the ministers among the cabinets and also everyone that is contributing um, in other ways, in uh, both the media teams and everything, all the security apparatus, everything that I have uh, done for this year, and also the whole of the achievement of uh, 2023. And I'm going to leave this uh, voice note for you to listen to so everyone can see if you really missed it. This is the opportunity for you to listen to it and also for you to learn about what has been happening and a way forward and also for you to support the cause of this freedom because freedom is not cheap you have to pay for your freedom to be free this is gmtv on this note i'm going to leave this very very one also before then i'm going to say thank you to all of you that has been coming to this channel and listening to us and watching our videos as well and i also will pray for all of you that uh, this 2024 that we are going into will benefit you and will make you have everything that you have never dreamed of having before in the mighty name of ochuko kikabiyama well, on this note i'm going to leave this very very message for you for you to play um from mazi Salmon ekba the biafra prime minister about the achievement of 2023 and what is going to be next beyond on the next and um, very very year of 2024 this is gmtv so i'll leave it for you now listen to it from the beginning to the end so you have more and full details of what is to come in the nearest future those who are asking, did you say Biafra will come to 2023? Biafra has been restored already. What is remaining is a complete declaration that will be defended. And before that happens, there are many things that we need to put in place. I want you to recount the achievement of the Biafra Republic government in Eza under the leadership of Simon Ekpa, what we have achieved in 2023, and ask yourself that question again. And you will look very stupid. We have been able to form government in Eza in 2023. In 2023, we have formed the de facto government. In 2023, we have launched Biafra Liberation Army. In 2023, we launched Biafra Navy. We launched Biafra Air Force. We launched the forces of Biafra. In 2023, we adopted Helsinki Declaration, which is the constitution of Biafra. In 2023, we had a convention in Finland where Biafra people gathered from all over the world as delegates to vote on the Biafra Charter, which is a living document subjected to amendment. In 2023, we have created 40 states of Biafra, and believe me, many more states will come because we are not done yet. In 2023, not only that we created state, we also brought a redesign and a redrawn Biafra map to reflect the current situation and the current demography of Biafra. In 2023, we started engaging officially Nigeria State in a guerrilla warfare on self-defense. In 2023, we officially and publicly engaged Nigeria terrorist army and we are neutralizing them on daily basis. It has never happened before in the history of Biafra. After the war, in 2023, we publicly and openly 
make sure that Nigeria doesn't kill again and be able land and go free. So, so if you look at those things I've mentioned, and those words I have not even mentioned, are you still going to challenge Sanganepa that Biafra has not been restored in 2023? Biafra declaration is not about mouth pronouncement. It's about putting every structure in place. It's about putting every mechanism and measures in place to shape the map and the structure of the Africa. In 2023, we have designed the economic viability of the Africa. In 2023, we have kicked off the Biafra Urban Development Project. In 2023, we've made a lot of impact globally. In 2023, the Biafra Awareness gained the highest momentum in the history of Biafra since after the war. In 2023, we made the Nigeria terrorist army to cry on the floor of National Assembly. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria. In 2023, those who are serving as the agent of Nigeria, benefiting from the corrupt entity called Nigeria, openly called for persecution, execution, and the kidnapping and arrest of some men because they know that this is a different thing from what they have seen in their entire life. In 2023, they call for the arrest of Samuel Epa and call for the release of Mars in Africa. Confusion. In 2023, after they have used many years to plan the kidnap of Mars in Africa, they have come to say Mars in Africa is a sent. He's a very gentle man. He's a nice person. But just two years ago, they kidnapped this nice person from Kenya. Two years ago, they tortured him for eight days. Two years ago, he was an evil man. Two years ago, they called him terrorist. Two years ago, he was everything evil to them. Two years ago, they spent hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. They kidnapped him and put him into a private jet from Kenya to Nigeria. Two years ago, Mazin Nandi Kano was everything evil to Nigeria, including to Hanez and all of them. Two years ago, he was the only problem of Nigeria. Two years ago, he was was the only person that constituted all manner of insecurity in Nigeria. He was the one who is more deadlier than the Bukhara. He was everything that Nigeria don't want to see. Today, as Samonefa take the Biafra migration to the next level, the same people are now calling us African the most sensible person. These are hypocrites, these are devilish people, these are criminals that only thing they want to do is to give dog a bad man in order to kill it. They have given birth that man to Mazen Nazikan. They themselves were the ones who condemned Mazen Nazikan. The same people today they have seen that, yes, indeed, someone actually followed the footsteps of Mazen Nazikan and ready to drag all of them to their fellow. So, like I look at Ogu and Ogu, when we get to their fellow, we will treat their fuck up very well. Today, the same people who gave the bad name to Mazen Nazikan in order to be kidnapped. They slandered his name, blackmailed him to other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria. All of them today has come to say that Mazin Africa is very sensitive. Now, Mr. is the problem. These people who are just evil from birth refuse to understand why Samanepa have decided to take this thing upon himself to liberate the people of Biafra who has been subjugated and changed with Islamic State agenda. They found themselves in the hole. They tagged us, thought, in a sense, because they thought that they have actually systematically conquered everybody by dividing, creating states, dividing us, changing the demography and map of the African people. And at the end of the day, they structured out five tiny states called it five eastern states. And they say, let us continue to divide them. And now they tell them, oh, you are talking about Biafra. You are just five states in the sector. We have come to destroy their evil agenda. Today, you will understand that the plan of Islamic State has failed. Today, the Biafra people are proudly announcing the 40 state, which is called the United States of Biafra. 40 complete states, cut across board, including in the area where they claim they were never been. I have come to learn from what Biafra did wrong in 1967 to 1970, I have come to learn what was Rike did wrong from the time he started the Biafra movement, and I have come to learn what 
Mazinam Bikanu did right and was in the process of doing before the plan and kidnapped I continue from there and today we are where we are. They are not resting. Those IPOB Nigeria are not resting as well. Every given opportunity, they think that there is infight in the Biafra government. They will say, oh, they are hope. Now is that they are fighting. And they are hoping that there is infight in the Biafra government. That is to tell you that, like we say, there are costs. There are costs. And they can never rise up. The Alpha government in exile is a government that nobody wants a woman. Marching on this planet, using your foot, walk on the ground, will ever, ever destroy. The Alpha has been restored in 2023 we have a government we have a structure of the government of biafra we have every department that made biafra government a legitimate government the people of biafra are loyal to the government both in the exile and in the homeland we have governors state administrators in all the 40 states of biafra we have deputy governors which is called administrators we have the secretary of state of each state in biafra land we have the chairman and manager of county and district. If you do not understand that with this structure we have one day you will sleep in Nigeria and wake up in Biafra. It means that you are an idiot. I told you that by the time I finish with Nigeria, you will sleep in Nigeria one day and wake up in Biafra. The next phase is to set up the police in Biafra. The reason why we have not set up the police is because it is going to be state police. Every state will have their police. Every state will be independent. It is going to be local police and there is no interference from the central government of Biafra. The military is a joint military, one military that will protect the territorial integrity of the Africa. When one state is attacked, it means that you have attacked all of us. So my people, for those who are absent, when are you going to declare the Africa? We have already declared Biafra. We are only waiting for us to conclude the last phase of the Biafra government. And one day we will sleep and wake up in Biafra. Like I said, then we must capture every crime of the Biafra threat. Yes, we want to use this time to say thank you for listening. And also, thank you for being with us all this while. And we wish you, every very every one of you here, Happy New Year in advance and also in good health. This is GMTV. Please spread this message for other people to know about as well. Because of uh, United States of Biafra, they have already come together. And also with the alliance with a new, very, very government or new world uh, power on this very, very occasion. This is GMTV. I'll see you on the next year, 2024. And remain blessed as always. And bye for now. This is GMTV.